Blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning, blessed morning. For this is the day that the Lord, he has made. I shall rejoice and I shall be glad in it, giving on it to God this morning. As God is truly awesome and amazing. <laughs> I say that every day because every day God just shows me how amazing he is. He allowed us to be in the land of the living yet once again. <laughs> what an awesome God that we serve. I, I, I just want to, um, and I'm not going to try not to be before you guys so long today because I, I got to go in a minute. But um, today we are fasting for four hours and we are reading Isaiah 58 and 6. Is this not the fast that I have chosen? to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke. Um, if you're not doing the 21-day fast with us, then uh, the four-hour fast today, uh, please make sure that you refrain from eating food, refrain from things that you do that are not uh, pleasing to the Lord. Uh, you got to turn down your flesh. You have to discipline your flesh. And today we are fasting, and we encourage you to fast for four hours. Um, in reading Isaiah 58 and 6, and I just want to briefly talk about uh, the worldwide shut-in that we had on the line last night. Uh, uh, if you if you were not there, <laughs> my God, you missed a true encounter for the Lord. We were on the phone for about four plus hours, and God showed up on that line last night, and He showed out. We had healing. We had deliverance. Mm -hmm. The Lord came in and blessed. We spoke to the children through the Lord. Uh, we binded all demons and we talked. And, and it was a place of comfort. It was a place where uh, people came and, and they were able to, uh, you know, talk about the things that they were going through in their lives. They were talking about the things that they, that they struggle with that presents a challenge to them in their lives. And this is what the worldwide shut-in was all about. So glory be to God, we're going to try to have the worldwide shut-in at least once a month. And we encourage you, wherever you are in this world, wherever you are in this nation, join that call with us. Bless morning to you, honey. Uh, join the call with us. The Lord is moving. Uh, and, and we want to see the Lord move in a mighty way. We want to see God, uh, you know, deliver and set free. And that's exactly what he did last night. I tell you, God blessed us. I felt renewed, renewed, renewed in my spirit. So I just wanted to share that. Uh, today, I still want to continue to talk about emotional stability. And, and the Lord continuously has me on this topic. You guys are aware of this. And how important it is, because a lot of times, in a lot of situations, until we are full of the word, uh, you know, we react to things emotionally. Um, some people may say, well, you know, I've been a part of the body of Christ, you know, all my life. And, and they act more emotionally than a person who doesn't even believe in God. So, you know, just because you are a believer mm -hmm. does not mean that uh, you will not react um, outside of the will of God in your emotions. So I just want to come and, and just share and help us to understand. The most important thing is knowing that when we are serving God, we are we are at warfare with the enemy. If we're with the enemy, we're not at warfare, right? Because we're with him. He's not going to fight against his own people. Um, but we also have to understand, and I hear in my spirit this morning, that a kingdom divided will not stand. Um, you know, that is a scripture in the word. And, and the most important thing for us as believers is that we have to understand that this is a time and a season where we cannot be divided. This is a time and a season where we need to focus on being together and unite. And a lot of times we can't unite because of our emotions. Our emotions impede the way of us being able to connect to one another because we're in our feelings. But you can't walk in faith and feelings. You got to choose one or the other. If you walk in faith, you'll know that God will supply everything for you and he'll fight your battles. But the, the problem is we want to do everything on our, on our own. You know, we want to take care of the situation. God is not moving fast enough or God is not doing what we need to do. And it causes us to act outside of God's will. And we act in our emotions because we do not allow God to work on our behalf. In the word, what does it tell us? 
God says vengeance is what? God says vengeance is mine. He didn't say it's Pastor Yvette's. He didn't say that it was Riri's. He didn't say that it was Andrea's or Rami. He didn't say that. Or for those of you that are watching, I just called out a few. If I didn't call your name, I apologize. But you have to understand how important it is to be logical in your thought process. The Bible tells us that we will know you by your fruit. So, you know, you have a lot of people that walk around proclaiming that, you know, they are children of the Most High God and, you know, they speak in tongue and, you know, they shake a the yada, all this craziness, you know. And, and I learned at a really uh, young age, I had a pastor that that came into the church and he said, be very mindful of people that speak in tongues because some people are just combining words together. And, and it sounds like because they're saying it so fast that they're speaking in tongue and they're not. And what we have to understand is that speaking in tongue does not warrant your salvation. The Bible teaches us that gifts comes without repentance. Okay. So if we understand that, you know, you have to be very mindful because a lot of times we get in our emotions because we then get connected to people that we think are true believers and they truly worship God and they do things to us that shifts us because we weren't expecting it. That's why we keep relying on the scripture that says, be sober minded, well balanced and vigilant in your spirit. Why? Why? Because it's important to understand that just because somebody resides in the church does not mean that they reside connected to the Lord, does not mean that they abide in Christ. There are people, and I've experienced this, that there are people in the church, even leaders, that will hurt you, that will attack you, and you'll be in your emotions. You have to read your word and study so that you can grow emotionally. Now, someone may say, you know, well, Pastor, what do you mean by study? Because I read my word. No, no, no. I'm not talking about just sitting there going through the word, you know, just reading it. It's not a fundamental book. This is a fundamental life-changing book. This is not just for fun. This book is to change your life. It is to give you instructions. It is there to help you and to guide you down the right path, to make wise decisions, to do what is right by the Lord, to grow stronger. The more you read the word, the more you'll realize and understand the things that people do won't bother you as much as they have been. Trust me. I used to get very bothered by what people did and it was hard for me to let it go because I was so nice and I didn't understand. I'm nice and I'm treating people kind. Why are people doing me this way and why do people want to see me get rude and ugly? No, no, no. It's not the people, honey. We don't fight against flesh and blood. <laughs> see, but if you don't know the word, you don't know that. So you have to stay planted in your word. You have to stay abiding in Christ. You have to stay constantly before God because God will strengthen your spirit. And what happens is that you begin to grow. What happens is that you begin to react to things differently. And you will not then be so emotional when things begin to take place. Life happens. We all have to endure life. But when you connect to the source that gives you strength, Jesus said his, his, his burdens are light right come to me all ye that you know uh, are heavy laden or burdened i may not be paraphrasing that correct but you guys know the scripture it's very important that we walk with our minds stayed on christ jesus because if we do not we're gonna always feel like we're battling someone may say well how do i walk in peace walking in peace is by allowing your spirit to grow in god Last night we read a scripture. The Lord opened me up to a scripture that was so soothing for our worldwide shut-in last night. And again, if you missed that shut-in, you listen. I'm you talking about prophecy? The Lord was giving prophecy on that line. The Lord was blessing and giving knowledge and wisdom and confirmation. The Lord was doing great works on that call last night. That worldwide shut-in. I truly encourage you do not miss the next one. <laughs> that was a blessing. Um but, you know, how do you walk in peace? The scripture said we were reading from John, I believe, the 14th chapter, verses 26 and 27, if I'm not mistaken. And it says in 27, it, Jesus said, peace I leave unto you. Not the peace that you get from this world. But then it went down and it said, stop allowing. <laughs> Jesus spoke and said, stop allowing. Agitation. Stop allowing people to get under your skin. You understand? I'm telling you, and Jesus said it in the word. Stop allowing people to agitate you. You know why they're agitating you? Because you're in your emotions. 
You know why they're getting on your nerves? Because you're in your emotions. You're in your feelings. But when you learn how to say, Lord, bless them. I got, I got kingdom work to do. You'll see that you will not react to things differently. It's very important for you to be with the Lord. It's very important for you to study the word of God. It is very important for you to identify and to understand that we have to be strategic in how we serve the Lord. You can't be strategic in anything if you're walking in your emotions. So Jesus said, peace I leave unto you. Who wants that peace today? Who wants that peace that Jesus left? The peace that surpasses all understanding. The peace that gives us reassurance when we're walking in a dead place. The peace that pulls us out of the darkness. The peace that dries our tears when we're struggling and can't seem to shake off what has attached itself to us. The Bible tells us the anointing is what breaks the yoke. You need to be seeking the Lord to get a stronger anointing. You can't have one foot in the world and one foot serving God. God will spew you out of his mouth you cannot be lukewarm. I don't care how many scriptures you post. I don't care how many encouraging thoughts you give. You need to be obedient to the word of God. Oh, Lord, I won't talk about obedience, but since we're there. <laughs> Get yourself in order. Get your house in order. God is giving you an opportunity to get right. Don't miss it. I decree and declare over your life that you will walk in emotional stability. Because you are above and not beneath. You are the head and not the tail. You are the lender and not the borrower. You are victorious. And most importantly, you're a child of the Most High God. So realize and understand that God has purpose for you. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how young you are. God still has work for you in the kingdom. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. <laughs> that means you're going to have to stop thinking the way you were thinking. And let God step in. He'll make a way for you. But you got to trust him. Right? You got to trust him. I've been there. I'm a living testimony. I should have been dead and gone. But Lord, you let me live on. I am a living testimony. You got to realize and you got to thank the Lord that you're still alive. Him, who's him? Jesus, H-I-M-M, -M, he's molding me. We pray, we P-R-A-Y, we prioritize righteousness around you. We are hashtagging addicted to Jesus. I got my shirt on today. We hashtagging addicted to Jesus. We bought that Jesus life. We stay ready. We chucking up the deuces to Satan. He got to go. He got to get up out of here. We ain't playing with him. We stay ready because we ain't scared. He got to pack all his bags and just leave. I am bad. I am B-A-D. I am blessed and delivered. We're walking with the best J-E-S-U-S. -S. They play checkers. We play chess. We're strategic in how we serve the Lord. Tighten up. We live a life of prosperity. We're hashtagging we are restored. Pump your brakes. Use me, Lord, for your glory. Uh, you can't be healed from what you have not revealed. Uh, stop being extra. You are what you answer to. We don't shake. We shift. Uh, we pray together. We praise together. We're kingdom for life. Don't say it. Just pray it. Uh, don't compromise who you are in your spiritual walk for anyone uh, in Christ. And God going to bring you out without a doubt. See, evangelist, I told you I was saying what you said, baby. Love you. And you guys know my most personal favorite. <laughs> because I love y'all so much and I love the Lord. Get ready, get ready, get ready. We kingdom, baby. Listen, we're kingdom. We're kingdom. Listen, 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 listen. We kingdom, baby. So tighten up. Get yourself in order. And you can walk emotionally stable. Don't allow the enemy to make you feel that there's nothing in you that God won't use. Because the devil is a lie and the truth ain't in it. So trust in the Lord and do good. And know that ye shall always be fed and that ye shall dwell in the land forever. Know that all things that they work for the greater good for those of us who love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and God's righteousness and in all things acknowledge God in all of your ways and he will direct your path. 
Be sober-minded, well-balanced, and vigilant in your spirit. Because that enemy of yours, the devil, he roams around like a fierce lion, seeking for someone to devour. God bless you. Stay encouraged. And remember to encourage someone today. Smile. Keep your head up. Know that you matter, that you're important, and that you mean something. You mean something to me, to God, to this ministry, to the body of Christ, and to Jesus. So smile and know that God is working it out on your behalf. Trust in God because he's there. Know that God loves you and so do I. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Be encouraged.